What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4 In this video we're going to be doing issue 116 And we're going to be doing issue 117 So in 116 of Build the Terminator T800 We are going to fit additional base details and attach two backing panels So we're going to merge them both together because we're at the stage where we're coming to an end here and we're obviously going to be able to attach the terminator and then we're going to just do it standard and then we're going to be doing all our modifications afterwards so we will have the uh the power mod coming from uh the you know curry pal model mods it's going to be absolutely fantastic but we're going to do it the standard way first then we're going to strip it down and we're going to do it that way so in issue 117 we're going to fit the battery box into the base. So we're going to be doing 116 first. We have a few bits here. So we're just going to see what it asks us to do. We want to check our pieces off. There's not many here. So you will have the screws, which are there. They are the PB3 uh, time six millimeter screws, one spare. You will get this heavy weighted piece here, which is really, really heavy. And then you get another uh, fabric piece which is just there which is wood but it's got kind of like a velvet finish on the bottom it feels really nice right so and then we also we did have a piece left sitting over from uh, the previous build which I've just got to grab which is under here I've been keeping this in storage for a little while uh, so there's that piece as well so we might have to fit that but I'll put this one underneath just in case and we'll see what it wants us to do first so it's, it is asking us to attach all these little trim sections here onto the base, but obviously we can't do that because we've got it upside down. So I don't know why they ask you to put all that stuff in when you can't really do that because you want to turn it upside down to work on it. And I'm lucky enough to have some spongy bits uh, to be able to push down and work on this. So there you go. So I'm just going to ignore the bits where it tells us to put all of the pieces in underneath and we will be gluing this all together at some stage but we'll do that as a mod and we will be uh, making it look ashy and stuff like that but that's going to be coming later on. Right so the bit we can do is we need to attach 115-6 and 115-6 is going to be that piece from the previous issue which is what I was telling you about. And what they want us to do, I mean, they are showing it on here so that the speaker is in my top left-hand corner. So if my speaker's in my top left-hand corner, then this should sit. You want to make sure that none of these cables snag. You could uh, tape them down out of the way, which I probably would recommend. And what it wants us to do, it wants us to put that into place there. i uh, just going to quickly check to see what it tells us to do. So it wants us to put the PB screws in there as well. But it also wants us to then go ahead and grab this section, which comes in with this issue 116. And then that kind of like slots into there, like a jigsaw puzzle. And it does sit in really nicely. So there you go. So what they want us to do now is they want us to go pop all those screws in place. And that is literally what they want us to do for this issue. So we'll go do that. And then we'll show you what it should look like by that stage. And then we'll move on to 117, which is installing the battery box into this section here. So we'll fast forward through this, but I'll see you guys in a sec. So guys, at the end of that stage, you want to make sure that all your screws are in place. So you have two here, two here, two here, and two here. And then it should look a little bit like that. So that's how you want it to look at that stage. And then you will have left over this weighted part, which will hold it all down. Uh, that doesn't go on yet, but that will obviously go into place soon. But as I said, we are going to be moving on to issue 117. So we'll just skip through that. I don't want to ruin that for you. But this is what it says comes in issue 117. But we're going to go crack on with that right now. So you don't need to wait or anything there so we're just going to open up the page and it says fit the battery box into the base so you should have quite a few pieces but we'll just double check on those right now as i said we're doing it this way but we will be installing uh, the model mods 
uh, power mod, which would be really cool. And obviously, that you won't have to keep replacing the batteries because it will be powered by the power mod. So, I'm going to go get all this out, and I'll be back in just a sec. All right, guys. So we've got all our pieces back out. So we need to have 117-2, which will be the battery box itself, which looks like this. Uh, we'll need various screws, bolts, which are just down here. 117-1, uh, which is this piece, which will just be um, the edging for the battery box, like the cover. We get another nice velvety base, which is 117-4, and we also get some brackets here, um, so some little screw brackets that haven't actually taken those out yet. Um, but we get those, which is pretty cool. Uh, so 117-3, these are, and there are four brackets, apparently. Use my teeth. Right, so just pop those down there out of the way. Just put that down. So the first thing it wants us to do, it does want you to install the batteries, but we don't have the batteries, so uh, I'm just going to just leave that section for now. Uh, but we will still install it because it shouldn't be an issue to install it at all. So. What it wants you to do, uh, it wants you to pop the batteries in place. So we would put those in. I think this is that they're Type C batteries, uh, so C type batteries. That, that's what's all going there. And then it's asking us to place the cover over the top. So we'll have a look at that. Uh, we have to just check what way around it goes. So it goes that way around, and it wants us to place the cover over it so that it looks like that. I'm guessing. I'm thinking it just hooks over the top and clicks into place, which it does. So it's quite easy to do. So I'll just show you that again. So basically it wants you to have it like this and it wants the cover to go like that with the slit at the top, uh, like so. And then it just hooks over the inside and then it just folds around so it holds in like that. So then it's kind of got like a little battery tray and then this battery tray, once the batteries are in there, that just slides into here. How well it slides in there, I do not know. Not too bad, so yeah, holds in quite well. Lines up quite nicely. So that just sits in there, in that section like that. So as you can see there, I'll turn it around so you can see it from the other side. It just sits in to here, like that, okay? So I'll keep it around that way so you guys can see it that side. When that's in place, what it's asking us to do, let's just have a quick look, is saying that we need to obviously connect it into the top right hand side. So I still have my little grips on here. What I'm gonna do, I'm going to just remove those for now. Just so they're out of the way. So the cabling here needs to come down here and then it needs to slot into this. So it needs to go into the furthest one away. You need to make sure you get it around the right way. And push it in there. So that cable comes from this box. It runs all the way around and it just goes into that top bracket there on the board. So it just sits there like that. Very nice. Right, so I'm just checking to see what it wants us to do next. So once we've done that, it says to cover the box up. So that's fine with the piece that we got, which will be this next jigsaw piece. So that will just, you have to make sure these cables are not in places where you will be screwing things in because that will be dangerous. So this just sits in place like so. And then just make sure that that cable goes down. There you go. So that just sits in like that. And then as you can see, we've got two screws here and two screws there, which we're going to go ahead and put in now. Uh, and those screws are going to be the uh, PB screws. So there are, as we said, there's four of those. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop those in and then we'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so those are the screws in place. So there's two screws here two screws there. I mean, the fitment is okay, I guess. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like the best. I don't know why. I guess I know why it's done in these small sections because obviously they have to ship them. Um, I don't see why you couldn't just have like one side because if you look at the packaging on this, 
that's quite long and this is the next issue um, so there's no reason why you couldn't do one side and one side and it would be a lot stronger as well so but that's just my opinion right so once you've done that and that is into place what it wants us to do it wants us to attach some brackets onto uh, the section that's going to be yeah there so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna pop this up of the way just to the side for just like a minute and then see how messy my little board is so what we're gonna do is these are gonna go on this way around like this and then this way around like this and then like this and then like that okay so when the screw is up through that way all you need to do is just put the little bolt on the top there so then you'll just screw that into place on top. So it's gonna be quite fiddly and you're probably gonna to have to hold it near yourself when you're screwing them in. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put them all in place and then we'll come back and show you what it looks like at the end because it's just gonna be so much easier. Uh, so we'll fast forward through this and we'll be back in a minute. So see you in a sec. Okay guys, that's all done now, but I do recommend maybe getting some pliers on there and then tighten these up a little bit more. So that's what it wants it to look like at the end of that stage. So you will have the pieces that we obviously just installed on 117, which would just be uh, that section there. So that will be in place. And then you'll have that as well. So you'll have that and you'll have that. So that will be 116 and 117 of Builder Terminator. And what we'll do is we'll see you guys again for the next video where we're going to be building issues 118 and 119. And then we should hopefully be ready to attach him to it. So that'll be really cool. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.